Hi, friends. I'm Sam. And I'm Lily. Today, we're going to talk about all the cool ways we can get around. Are you ready, Sam? I sure am, Lily. Let's start with something that everyone knows. Cars. Cars are awesome for traveling on roads. They have four wheels and can go pretty fast. That's right, Sam. But did you know there are other types of road transport too? Like buses. Buses are bigger and can carry lots of people at once. They're great for getting around the city. And don't forget about bikes. Bikes are so much fun to ride. They're good for short trips and don't need any fuel. Just pedal power. Pedal power is the best. But what if you want to go over water? That's where boats come in. Boats can sail on rivers, lakes, and even across the ocean. Wow, boats are cool. And if we want to fly high in the sky, what do we use, Lily? Airplanes. Airplanes are super fast and can take us to faraway places in just a few hours. Some airplanes are really big and can carry hundreds of people. And there are even helicopters. They're smaller than airplanes and can land in places where planes can't. They're great for rescue missions and exploring. But Sam, what about trains? Choo-choo! Trains are amazing too. They travel on tracks and can carry lots of people or heavy goods across the land. Trains are like long-moving buildings. Videos like the one that you have just watched can really grab the attention of kids. And that is exactly what you'd want to do when you're creating a kids learning video. Today, I'm going to take you through a step-by-step -step process of creating such animated videos. To start off, you're going to come up with a script. You can come up with your own script, but for today's tutorial, I'm going to use ChatGPT. Head over to ChatGPT and type the following prompt. I want to create a kids YouTube video on types of transport. Generate an engaging dialogue between two characters explaining the different kinds of transport. Could you please separate the script into scenes and include prompts that I will use to generate images? And I'm going to hit enter. GPT has generated for us different scenes together with the prompts that you're going to use to generate images. We have an introduction together with the different types of transport. This is a script that I'm going to use for our video. The second step is to generate a voiceover and to do that you're going to use 11 labs. I'm going to leave the link in the description box below for all the tools that you're going to use in this video. Once you're on 11 labs, you're going to come over here to speech and we're going to paste the voiceover that ChatGPT gave us. So head back to ChatGPT and we're going to copy the first voiceover, which is Sam, where he says, Hi friends, I'm Sam. Paste it right inside this text box. From here, we're going to choose the voice that we're going to use for our first narration, which is Sam's voice. To do that, you're going to click on this button here and you're going to listen in to the different voices that are available on 11 Labs. Let's listen in to a few of these voices available for us. The thing always happens that you really... Hey, I'm Arisita. You can also click on voices and you can come over here to library. From here, you can filter to the kind of voice that you'd want for your narration. For today's video, we are going to select characters and animation. And you can listen in to the different voices available for us under characters and animation. Click on sample and you should be able to listen in to the different voices. Hey, I, I might be I'm going to go with a recita together with Finn. Click on generate speech. Hi friends, I'm Sam. Good. Click on this download icon and download this first narration from Sam. Go back to chat GPT and I'm going to copy the other narration from Sam. Head over back to 11 labs and I'm going to paste in the second narration from Sam. Click on generate speech. I sure am, Lily. Let's start with something that everyone knows. Cars. Good. Download this second voiceover from head over back to chat GPT and we're going to copy Lily's narration back to 11 labs and paste in Lily's narration inside this text box. Change the voice. We're going with a recita. I have renamed mine as fruits and vegetables. Generate this speech. Lily, today we're going to talk about all the cool ways we can get around. Are you ready, Sam? Download it. And I'm going to complete generating all. The next step is to generate our animations. To do that, you're going to use Adobe Express. I'm going to leave the link in the description box below. 
Once you're on Adobe Express, come over here and click on character. Choose the category of characters that you'd want. You can go with creatures, animals, zodiac, emojis, robots, classroom, and so many others. For today's tutorial, I'm going to go with animals and I'm going to select this monkey here. The monkey is going to be Sam. To generate our animations, click on this button here, Enhance Speech. And I'm going to click on Browse. I'm going to upload Sam's first voiceover. Let's listen in to our animation right here. Hi, friends. I'm Sam. Okay. Download this animation here. Click on the download icon. And make sure you rename it accordingly. Once you have downloaded your animation, click on Back. And click on Replace Audio. Click on Browse. And you're going to bring in Sam's second voiceover. You can also select the background of your animation by clicking on background from here you can select any of the backgrounds for today's tutorial we're going to stick with the green background i will go ahead all the other voiceovers for some now that i am done generating the animations for some i'm going to change the character so that i'm able to animate lily to do that I click on character and i will stick with animals let's listen in to lily's first animation Lily, today we're going to talk about all the cool ways we can get around. Click on download. Click on back. Replace audio. Click on browse. Bring in Lily's second voiceover. Click on download. I will go ahead to generate all the other remaining animations before we move to the next step. The next step is to generate an animated background. And to do that, you're going to use Canva. Head over to canva.com and click on create a design. Search for YouTube video. Once you have a plain Canva like this one, head over back to and check on the prompt that ChatGPT has given us for our first scene. A colorful playroom filled with various toy transport vehicles like cars, boats, and airplanes. Head over back to Canva and you're going to click on Elements. Search for a colorful ground. Click on Graphics. Pick one of the backgrounds. I'm going to pick this background here. Right click it and set the image as background. Go back to ChatGPT. And according to ChatGPT, we are supposed to have toys like cars, boats, airplanes. Go back to Canva and click on Elements. Search for toy cars. Click on Graphics. Pick on that toy car there. Adjust the size. Then we bring it down here. Search for a boat. Pick on that boat there. Adjust the size and move it down there. Search for aeroplanes, place it somewhere there. Now that you're done with the first scene, all we need to do is to download this scene here. To do that, click on share and download it. Click on download and we will download it as an MP4 video. Click on download. Next, we are going to generate a background for the next scene. Click on this icon here. And since it's about road, transport i'm going to bring in a background that depicts the road transport come over back to elements and i'm going to search for road transport click on graphics pick on this background here right click it and set the image as background to animate it further bring in other elements search for a cloud filter it click on this icon here and select only animated clouds this looks good pick on that cloud there reduce the size and place it somewhere there. Bring in these other clouds. Reduce the size. Place them somewhere there. Up there. Bring in some other clouds as well. Increase the size. Bring in a bud. Reduce the size. Drag it to this end. Highlight it. And click on animate. Draw a path for this bud here. Choose the movement style. I will choose steady. Reduce the speed of our bud flying. Click on done. We can bring in another bud. Reduce the size. We will let it fly up there, bring in some trees, place it somewhere there, duplicate it, place another one there. This background is ready for the second scene. Click on share and we're going to download it as an mp4 video. I will go ahead and generate the remaining scenes. Once you're done, we will move on to the next step. The final step is putting everything together. To do that, you're going to use Cap head over to capcut.com and you will click on create new. And you're going to select YouTube 16.9. From here, you upload our different generations that you got from Adobe Express together with the background animations from Canva. Click on Upload, Upload File. Now that our different scenes together with our animations have been uploaded onto CapCut, bring in our different backgrounds. 
start with the first background, drag it to our timeline, bring in our first character, which is Sam, place Sam on top of our background, remove this green background, click on this character here, and come over here to Smart Tools, click on Remove Background, turn on the chroma key, and click on this color picker, click on the green background, and you can see that our background has now been removed. Place thumb right there. We can increase the size of our character. Place our character somewhere there. You realize that according to our script, this is supposed to be a dialogue. And in this dialogue, when one character is talking, the other character is supposed to be silent. How do we go about that? You will head over back to 11 labs and you're going to generate a silent voiceover. Type three dashes and click on generate speech. You can see that our silent generation is now here. Download this silent generation. Click on the download icon. Come back to Adobe Express. You can start with Lily. Click on replace audio. Browse and upload our silent audio. When you preview your animation, you realize that it does not have any audio. And that is exactly what we need. Click on this download icon. Come back to CapCut and you're going to upload your animation without any audio. Now that you have Sam here, I'm going to bring in Lily and Lily is going to be silent as Sam talks. Bring in the silent Lily, click on Smart Tools, remove the background, turn on the chroma key, click on the color picker, click on this green background, reduce the size of this character and place this character on top of that tool there. Let's listen in to our first scene. Hi friends, I'm Sam. Bring in the second background, drag it and place it on our timeline. Bring in our talking Lily, click on Smart Tools and then click on Remove Background. Turn on the chroma key and select the color pick, click on the green background. Reduce the size of this character, place our character there. Bring in our silent Sam, remove this background again. Hi friends, I'm Sam. And I'm Lily. Today we're going to talk about all the cool ways we can get around. Are you ready, Sam? You can add transitions and to do that, hover in between the two scenes and click on add transition. Come over here and select on a transition that you'd love. I'm going to pick on that one. I will add transitions after every scene. Finally, I bring in some music. You can get royalty-free music from your YouTube studio. But for this tutorial, I'm going to upload some music that I had downloaded earlier. Reduce the volume of this music by clicking on basic and reduce the volume to about 30 decibels. You can also add captions to your video. To do that, click on captions and select auto captions. Select the language. For my case, English. Click on generate. Choose the style of your captions. Click on presets. And we are going to select one of these tiles. I'm going to pick on that. I think that looks good. Download it. Click on export. And your video is now ready. And that is it for today's video. Until next time, God bless.